Hello everybody, I got a grocery outlet haul. Uh, you know, when we went there the last time, we didn't get as much as we normally would. And uh, I saw a lot of things that, I gotta adjust that a little. Saw a lot of things then that we, we wanted to get and we waited and they have got a ton more stuff in. I was so surprised. Uh, and you just can't pass them up, especially if it's something non-perishable or, you know, if you can, if you have an extra freezer or something like that, you know, uh, you you got to really try to save money any way you can. And we just got some great things. We got uh, several things for meals and I figure I probably got at least, I don't know, five or six meals uh, that we can make out of this. Plus, I got some great snacks, name brand snacks. I think everybody will... Uh, be able to find somewhere that uh, we're going to uh, you know do reviews on taste tests on and stuff but I wanted to show you first since it's sitting here I wanted to get it out of the way this tide it's uh, simply all-in-one it says stains out odors out and fresh scent and y'all know how much tide is and this one was just I don't know if you can see that $9.99 yeah $9.99 does uh, 89 loads so that's a great deal in itself and I got me a little pair you know I go through a lot of these I get them usually at Dollar Tree but I thought I'd get one of theirs and see what uh, what I thought of it um, it's it was a dollar 49 a little bit more than Dollar Tree but I, I really kind of like them they seem like they're a little I know it's hard to tell for sure. They might be a little better made. And I have the lenses fall out of the ones from Dollar Tree. I have the the earpieces break lots and stuff. And if, sometimes I'll sit on them and break them and lose them. You know, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm going to get the refrigerated and frozen first. I haven't tried this, but it sure looks good. It's uh, Columbus Craft Meats made with whole turkey breast meat roasted turkey breast and it is eight ounces so it's half a pound a lot of them aren't even eight ounces anymore for a dollar 99 i think that's a great deal we're just about out of turkey lunch meat i still got ham in there and i still got some of that bologna that uh, garlic bologna um we found some different bait they had different bacons marked down when they get close to the date on them They'll freeze them, you know, they'll mark them down for like a day or whatever. Whatever doesn't sell, they freeze, uh, you know, which is what we do. We put them in the freezer, you know, when we buy extra stuff. We already had a pack of bacon, but we got this Brian Thick Cut Bacon. It's sweet hickory smoked bacon for $1.99. And if you remember last time we went, I got uh, about four, three or four turkey bacons, which we've been eating on too. Uh, for like a dollar each or something like that. No, they were $1.49, which is less than half price of any other. And it was Jenny O, you know, and Brian's a really good brand too. So, you know, it's frozen. We'll put it right in the freezer. And uh, it used to be $3.99, I'm pretty sure. So that's like half price. Um, they had these again in the ad, and that's one of the reasons we went down there. This is really good. This Boston Market grilled chicken, the, the gravy that comes with it is really good. It's just a great meal and it's easy to fix, you know, uh, for uh, like we have some mashed potatoes and green beans usually with it. And it's just a good home style meal and they really taste good and they're a real piece of chicken. But last time they were $3.99, now they're $3.49. $3.49, I hope I did that right. Or that was this way maybe. Yeah, so we got two of those because it's an easy meal that's good. They're not bad for you. You know, it's got 18 grams of protein. Um, and then they had these, I was hoping they had some of the other types, but they had these Hormel mashed sweet potatoes with brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This is, they're really good. We've had these quite a few times, but for a dollar, they're way good. One dollar. Um, I think I, I told you I paid a dollar ninety nine for that bacon. I mean, they're like seven dollars for a pack of bacon somewhere anymore for six or seven bucks. Um, 
But you can freeze these sweet potatoes too if you're not going to eat them right away, uh, and they freeze fine. All the Hormel ones like that freeze freeze just fine. Have them wherever you want. And then they had uh, I wouldn't have gotten this for me, but Joy likes uh, just like egg and cheese on stuff. And so, so we got her some of these Jimmy Dean egg and cheese on a muffin. They're only a dollar each. We got her four of them. Where's the other one? Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. We got four of those. And you can microwave them right in these. And then they had this one. I, it's a big AZ. I guess that's a play on, you know, uh, the other word. And uh, but it's got two sausage patties and cheese. And you can see it's pretty big. I mean, and they were a dollar twenty-nine. I don't know who makes these. Let's see something. I never heard of it. Advanced Pierre Foods Incorporated in Ohio, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, it says, golly, I didn't know this, or I'd have probably got more of them. Tyson Foods. Tyson Foods Incorporated. And you know who owns Jimmy Dean? Uh, Tyson Food Service. Jimmy Dean owns, I mean, I mean, uh, Tyson Foods own Jimmy Dean. So you can well say this is going to taste like a Jimmy Dean sausage biscuit, but it's got two patties on it. My goodness, it's double sausage, double cheese biscuit sandwich. So it's got two pieces of cheese. So I got Logan and I wanted those, and I got Joy the four uh, muffin ones. I think that's all the refrigerated, so let me get that put up real quick. Be right back. Okay, got that took care of. And this is something new. And it was $1.99. It's a Progresso Cheesy Beef Macaroni Soup Mix. Uh, just add cooked ground beef, water, and milk. I thought that was interesting. It's kind of like a hamburger helper or a whatever, you know? So, and it being Progresso... And it says it makes eight servings, so, um, yeah. But we try it out, see what it's like. And I got a bunch of them if they're any good, you know. Usually, uh, what happens is something will say, oh, gosh, that's so good. Let's, let's go back and get some more of that, and it'll be gone because everybody found out it was good. We got some of these hefty bowls we use for different things, like Kitty mainly. What? Oh, that's, I thought Kitty was making that noise. She's over there uh, eating her tuna. And I thought these were cute, basically. Um, they had some other ones, other flavors or whatever. They're Apple and Eve cranberry, little cranberry uh, cans of cranberry juice. And they were 50 cents, no, 25 cents each. I just got a couple of the cranberry. For now, I want to see what they're like. I know Apple and Eve is a good brand um, of juice. Um, and I couldn't remember. I said some had some more of those Humex drinks, but I couldn't find them. So I don't know what happened to them. They're, they're somewhere, uh, or either they got lost in the fridge. And I'm not I'm not taking everything out of the fridge to find them. But I, so I went ahead and got a couple more because they're only 59 cents. Um, this one is the pineapple nectar. These are things that I would try in the morning, on morning uh, coffee breaks. And the other one is, I think I got three, mango nectar. Um, have y'all priced black olives lately? <laughs> They've always been kind of high, but they're ridiculous now. But we got this whole can, a regular size can, of Lindsay Broken Pitted Mild and Nutty olives black olives i guess yeah black ripe pitted olives kitty what are you doing and it was only a dollar what you doing you through okay there were some good markdowns too today here's the other humex this one is pineapple coconut 
nectar. Kitty, what are you doing? Scratching? We got these double stuffed Oreos for $2.99. And you know, they're over $4 now. And they had some markdowns on Quaker uh, items. Quaker Chewy Dark Chocolate Chunk Bars for $1.39. Anytime you see the green, that's been marked down. And then they have the, there was a couple others. I just got a couple for now. This one's a Chewy Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip for $1.39 as well. Okay. I'm telling you, we hit the jackpot today. Oh, I gotta put this one off. I didn't know it would still be in here. Uh, they have the Simply Roasted Parmesan Herb Chicken Tyson for $1.99. This is really good for anything you need some uh, chicken for. But, you know, it's Parmesan herb, but it's really good. I, I would use it on anything I would, you know, even for fajitas or something. But, um, it's real quick and easy to use. You can freeze them and, and you know, you can use them. Just I just let them thaw out before we use them and stuff. And uh, they really come in handy. They're already cut up into chunks. I cut them up usually into smaller pieces. And I think I got one left frozen. Uh, so I wanted to get more, but I thought, you know what, we got a lot of stuff. And by the way, this whole order, even we got coffee too. Coffee and that Tide. Uh, was only $116. It's unbelievable. I even thought myself that it would be more like 150 60 bucks. We got one of these fresh thyme black, black peppercorn grinders. I got one of the salt ones. I don't know if this one is, I don't know what brand that is. I tore it off. And that's been working real good. Uh, this was only $1.29. I think those others were a dollar. But maybe it's because it's peppercorns in it. I don't know. Cost more than more than uh, salt. So this I, I really do like this uh, Southeastern Mills pepper gravy mix, and they're 89 cents there. Um, what was it at Kroger? They had them, but they were a dollar 19, I believe. And so we got four of these. Oh, I didn't know, Joy got this. It's a. Uh, those were 89 cents each. I can't tell how much this is. It's Funfetti Complete Buttermilk and Pancake Waffle Mixed with Candy Bits. And. I'm trying to see how much it was. 79 cents. That's not bad. Okay. Um, we tried some of this uh, Thai Kitchen. Uh, Thai kitchen fried rice um, and it's really really good y'all and it's only a dollar it's just the heat you know for you put it in the microwave for 90 seconds just tear the tear it about halfway through and put it in there for 90 seconds so we've got two of them they were out of them the last time they went they still had the coconut shrimp I mean coconut rice but we hadn't tried it yet the one we got so we didn't get any more of the coconut we try. Okay, they had a great deal on craft mayonnaise. I have one left. They had the smaller ones for $1.99 for a while, but they got gone. I've got one left of those, and I think I got a one of the ones from Aldi, which is real good. I think it's Duke's. But um, they had the value size 48 ounce craft mayo for $4.99. I think that's a pretty good buy. Because that's, uh, how many ounces did I say? 48. Mm, the others, the others would actually be by ounce, a little bit cheaper, that were $1.99 for the smaller one. I think they're like 30 ounces. But they don't have those anymore. And this is a, a really good deal, too. Uh, you know, a regular size jar is about six bucks, I think, or something like that. All of them are expensive now. I've been looking at this coffee and looking at this coffee and it seems a lot like that one from Ollie's, but I don't think it's the same company. Uh, that's called Premier Roasters, the one that we like from Ollie's. Well, this one is S&W coffee, 
gourmet S and W coffee. And I think that we at Sam's, I think they had that brand we used to buy, um, and it came in little packs already measured out and it had filters with it, but you know, they just had little packets and you put the filter in and just dump it in there. Uh, I think it's S and W, but this one's gourmet S and W coffee, fresh roasted, special roast. It says since 1921. So they're over a hundred years old. And I was looking to see if it said, you know, they had a typo on the back of that premier one, but it doesn't say beans, B E A N D S. It says beans on this one, <laughs> B E A N S. So I don't know to con it says contact us at coffee holding company. I'm going to be interested to see. I really want to see if it comes from the same place. see if this comes from the same place but you can see what I mean it kind of I mean look and you see why I was thinking that we're at coffee holding company that says the same thing on that one this is just another one of their brands distributed by coffee holding company Staten Island New York 10314 same address so I, I, that's why I was thinking this would probably be pretty good because this is $6.99 and you can't hardly even find, uh, sometimes you can find uh, some on sale for $6.99 now, but like Maxwell House is 10 something regular price, $10.49. And this is really, really good. So I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna be good. I kept thinking they were the same uh, thing, you know, but a lot of these companies they'll make many different brands you know they put different labels on for different places and it's the same stuff it's the same coffee so that's a good deal and plus it's 34.5 ounces those like Maxwell House are like 22 to 24 ounces or something okay they got in the corner of the store they got shelves where they got a lot of their markdown stuff and we always look at them. We don't always find anything there, but I found a great deal today on um, granola. This one's Nature Valley Granola Reduced Sugar, and I've got this one for Logan before. 45% less sugar. He loved it. <coughs> I think when it started, it was like $3.99. As you can see, that's marked down to a dollar. That was, I think, the only one left of that one. And then they have these Safe and Fair... I forget who these who come from or where they sell these. Um, somebody said, was it Walmart? Somebody said they had this one, Safe and Fair All-American Granola. This one's made with real berries. And um, it is also a dollar. And they had three left of these, and I got all three of them. Because, you know, they'll last. They won't go, they won't taste stale or anything. You know, and it doesn't last long anyway around here. And it's not bad for you either, you know? Okay. <clears throat> they had some of the Velveeta skillets, the Ultimate Cheeseburger Mac. And it was only two forty nine. I know they're over three dollars. And uh, now who knows how much they are. Uh, that's uh, and we got some Crisco olive oil no stick spray. For only a dollar ninety-nine, I guarantee you price that somewhere you'd be surprised. How much it is. We got these Mama Mary's pepperoni. They look good. And they're good to well, the date's June 27th. We go through this too. For only a dollar. Looks good too. I got this Campbell's. I, I thought this was interesting. Campbell's flavor up cooking concentrate rich garlic and herb for a dollar 49 i got this i thought this sounded good campbell's chunky smoked turkey with white and wild rice for a dollar 99 they had v8 juice and you know we just got done getting some uh, a while back at dollar general and it was three dollars 
And but this is the real thing, the real V8 instead of some like knockoff. But uh, it was two ninety nine. I almost got more than one because that really is good for you. It's good stuff. We got mostly healthy snacks and stuff this time. I don't know about this one, but it's called Chocolate Teens. Marshmallow cookies with chocolate flavored coating. And they were, there's eight of them in there, and they're $1.49. I don't know if you can see that one real good. Okay. And I just showed on uh, that, I mean, who was it I showed? Yeah, I showed this the other day, I believe. Um, Cremet Ready Cut Spaghetti. It's cut up, see? And two pounds for $1.49. That's a big box of it. And this, these are really good. And they're actually hollow in the middle. They got like a little hole in them. And, but they're shaped like spaghetti. And they're so much easier to eat than spaghetti. Anyway. I got this epic, I've seen these other places, epic chicken crisps, cracked pepper, <clears throat> only two grams of net carbs per serving for $1.49, that'll be something we'll try, uh, probably on Logan's, and I got this, I never heard of this one, I don't know if, it, it about looks like Bear Creek, uh, I don't know if it's a, Oh, a division of Southeastern Mills, the ones that I just showed you, the gravy. So it's shore lunch fire roasted vegetable soup mix made from scratch quality, it says. And it was $1.49. So that's another way, another meal. And we got some bananas. We got these little the bananas. I don't remember how much they came to. We got these little red potatoes for uh, $2.99. I think it's a three pound bag or something. Uh, that's not bad though. You can get you get just a little bitty bag for that much elsewhere. Uh, but that's got quite a few more in it. I got these Garden of Eating. And I've seen this at Kroger. Uh, they're the white chips, white uh, with a touch of lime. Big bag for $1.99. We'll, I'm sure we'll try these. Oh. And then this same one is the chicken crisp. This is epic oven baked pork, pork rinds. Zero total carbs. $1.49. Maybe another one for the And then this one is. Better Made Signature Movie Theater Butter Gourmet Popcorn for, it's marked $1.99, it's 79 cents. I have this, oh, I got three of these, one for each of us. It's Savory Chex Mix Honey Barbecue, and only a dollar for the bag. That looks like something you'd see at Dollar Tree, but Dollar, and we got three of those. We'll try one of those. Here's show. And these here, the True North uh, Pure Energy Seltzer. Uh, which one is this? Cucumber Lime. Joy said it's really good. They're 50 cents a can. I got a case of 12, so they came to $6. I got two uh, cases of purified waters for $3.49 a case. And I think that's it, but I'm telling you what, that is a lot of stuff for uh, $116. I'm not kidding. It would be probably more than twice that anywhere else. Uh, so, you know, you can see why we definitely take advantage of it. We were trying to go there before we go. We hadn't had to go to Walmart. Uh, for two months now, I guess. Uh, we just, we spend way too much there and it's not that great of prices anymore. Unless you buy all great value stuff and then it's still a little bit, you know, higher than it used to be, of course. So anyway, I'm sorry this took so long, but it's just a bunch of stuff, you know, and I like to explain it well, you know, uh, about everything. And uh, we got lots of name brand stuff here. So we're gonna have some good meals out of this. Um, we got we got plenty of meat and stuff like that already. 
Um, we don't get much produce there. But anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this grocery outlet haul with crazy cheap prices. And if you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. I like to say what day it is. Today is Monday. Uh, this will probably come out in a day or so. Uh, not tomorrow, but the next day, I believe. So, I appreciate everybody, all y'all support and everything. I hope you have a great day, and God bless.